Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Team Doe Glentendo Circuit brought to you every single Tuesday once again along with our free-for-all races on Sunday as well in the normal Glentendo Circuits. My name is Natunist, a frequent Mario Kart caster at this point. Proud to be able to bring it to you with MHG's very own Chris Elodian bringing you this stream. Beautiful stuff. I love participating in these every single week and we hope you guys enjoy watching them every week as well. So don't touch that fire stick mouse, whatever it is you use to watch Twitch, which pretty much a lot of ways to do that now do not touch it we're gonna have plenty of entertainment for you guys coming up real quickly and plenty of wonderful mario kart players and streamers as well as the gift of gab between two friends which i'm sure you can all relate to hopefully <laughs> hopefully Probably. i assume Maybe? i assume you all can relate to that good it's possible <laughs> thanks for the good introduction I, it's nice not having to do introductions sometimes because i'm gonna do it and i'm just like what, what do i say i said that because i said these things last week Oh, dude, I mean, when you're on, like, a date and, like, you're so good at introductions, but then you don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> that's me, that's me, homie. I go in just like, hi, my name is Natunist. Thank you so much for Perfect. agreeing to, to come to this Applebee's with me. And, and, and I just <laughs> down because that's all, that that's be all I rehearsed. If, if that's, that, that's, if that's all I rehearsed. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're all out. You're all out of line. So, this is all out, dude. Hey, sometimes it's all you need. Sometimes a good opening paragraph, a good intro is all you need. Literally, if you're writing an essay or anything else, I mean, having a good hook, Having a good opening sentence, a good paragraph is so, so, so important, which is why I appreciate doing a good intro and is why I appreciate you wanting a good one for your stream. And speaking of streams, we got a couple of them for you guys today. I believe about four and five. We got Kugi, the man, the myth, the legend himself, one of the best players, if not the best player in the Glintendo server, in the Glintendo circuit server, I would say, along with Cold Brew at the left. And I would just, I'll, I'll get it out of the way at this point you have to uh, it's important yeah. <laughs> i feel like you have to normally you're the one who i mean we both do it started with you but we both do it at this point we love this guy's stream layout i mean look at it it's windows xp dude it looks like it's gonna crash any second now <laughs> but it's not it's just the theme it's just the aesthetics yeah it's really Always. well thought out and i think we said this like uh from from someone who is of the 90s, it, I just appreciate it. it. makes me think of the internet first coming out and, and just, like, how everything looked. <sighs> Good stuff. All right, yeah, it's nice to gush over presentation. I think presentation is so important. Um, I think it's one of those things, even with, like, Mario Kart, uh, it, it like, if you're a streamer streaming these things and, like, this is kind of unique, like, it's not like you see Mario Kart streams that operate like this, uh, and that wasn't a toot of my own horn, but... Uh, you know, there's just no spectator mode. No one really wants to be bothered with putting streams together like this, except for me, because I think it's cool. Um, but with that in mind, uh, there's a lot of creative things you can do when putting your stream together, and uh, I would say that Cold Brew has kind of nailed that down. Um, because there's, there's things you have to account for. There's, like, how many, how many coins do you have? Uh, you know, uh, is, your, is your chat active? Are you an anime mm -hmm. girl? <laughs> like, there's so many things. I, I, I mean, you just take a look in the mirror for that last one. You ever wake <laughs> up, uh, you freaking, oh, what, no. what was that movie? Uh, your Name? Well, I mean, Your Name is not what they turn into an anime girl. One of them was already an anime girl. It's the one where they switch bodies. Uh, but still. Like, um, what the heck was that movie? Yeah, no, sometimes, sometimes you gotta check. Yeah, you know, because sometimes I wake up in the morning and, like, I'm not an anime girl. And then like, sometimes hey, wait I am, and I gotta be sure. I mean, what I want to do is wake up in the morning and be Cloud Strife. And uh, my depression slowly but surely increases with each passing day because I still wake up in the morning and I'm not And him. you're not Cloud Strife. So, you yeah. think I'm joking about that, don't you? I... Uh, I, I want to. I, just, I want to believe Cloud. <laughs> I so want bad. to believe, but uh, so I don't blame you, dude. Cloud's a really cool guy, and, and the ladies really love is. him. He doesn't really give a shit. He's just he's out for. I want to say so many things about Cloud, but they're all spoilers, so I guess I won't. Although were they really spoilers if the game came out a really long time ago? I don't even. Technically not. Technically yes. Right, it, it's, it. it's kind of a mixed bag at that point. I mean, I didn't. I really wanted to play the game, but I didn't have a PS4, so I watched most of it on Nairo's stream because Nairo is easily one of my favorite streamers. So I already got a lot of the gist of the story, even though I'll still play the game one day. But uh, yeah, no, we all want to be we all want to be Cloud for mul for multiple reasons. Just pl play the game, and you'll actually <laughs> just get about halfway through the game, and you'll honestly yeah, like is, you'll understand why we say he this. He anyway. it's cool. Like, but yeah. Anyways, um, we do. I guess we do have some races, and this one just ended. Um, Osranium, uh, oh. Heart Clash, the boy, 
Uh, and Dilly right behind him. So that was a little intimate race there. Cunio getting third, and there was someone else there, and that was pretty much it for that lobby. But uh, thankfully, we do have another one with uh, the other boys, which is Kugi. And yeah, we, are, we already saw Kugi and Cold Brew, but either way, uh, th yeah, they are in different races. So I don't know. I know um, it's hard to tell how many entrants you get for these things right off the bat because people kind of flow in a as it goes because you can essentially enter at any time. You just have to enter enough time to, to finish your races. And even at that point, like, oh, wow, that's pretty good. Hug in the corner there by Kugi. He must be practicing this stage. But, yeah. Dude, so to be a Mario Kart player, you got to make sweeps. You got you to gotta be in love with the corners. You got to want to give him a big old hug. Dude, he know? was kissing him the whole time. Um, and oh, also, I'm, so I'm noticing he's using DK again, which started off as a meme because uh, he was trying to go undercover as Steezy, but has become his reality, where now he just uses DK all the time. Uh, and Cold Brew right behind him, so they're on the same team. So there's really not much that Cold Brew is going to do to get past... Oh, wait, hold on. I've already established they're on different things. For some reason... Oh, dang it. Great, now i got to cut off the screen. Actually, wait, I'll, I'll, oh. I'll, I'll wait and see how they play this first. I just figured because they were in the same ports of the race, and then I just realized that they were just... Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, did they They both just got Wario Stadium in their individual lobbies? Oh, wait, no, this is the oh, same Oh, wait, no, race. they didn't. For so I don't know. Okay, I was on it. Just ignore me. Man, silly, yes. silly me. I do see uh, Anju entered as well. Anju's been, she was uh, like an early dominant force and still dominant, but since some of the other pro players entered, maybe a little <laughs> bit. I don't want to say less so because Anju always places extremely well uh, and has won these, but uh, the, I don't he know. does. Yeah, he's got a lot of. There's a lot of stiff competition and uh, for Osbiranium for sure. Definitely another really good one. Is he? He's a. Uh, he's Mario Kart Clash, right? Uh, he is. So within Kart Clash, I think there's also Cruise too. So it's. There, there's some lore there that I'm just getting to know as well. Um, so I don't know who's on who's. I know there's like, it's kind of like Smash where you have almost like an org or, or someone that you kind of just rep the tag. Same concept, just Mario Kart, basically. Mm. Uh, it's more like a, yeah, it's like a crew. It's uh, it's kind of neat. And that's like what they do on uh, Mario Kart Central, basically, which is like the Mario Kart thing. Um, so, so it's funny. So it, Kart Clash is basically a bridge to Mario Kart Central, which is like the tryhard setting up all the, the main things and uh, circuits and getting all the crews together. And then there's Kart Clash, which is really competitive that a lot of these competitive guys that we see come from. And then they're like the bridge to that world while we're like becoming the bridge with the Nintendo circuit to the Kart Clash world. If, I, mm. I don't know. I don't know if I lost you on that. I may have. No, 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 no. I totally got it. I mean, dude. Right, I mean, cool, I know cool. how you operate. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I know how you <laughs> like like to operate in the sense of what you do. Like, you love to build bridges, as you've been what doing with multiple communities. You're you're really good at that as well. On top of other things. And speaking of of uh, really good at, I was actually just going to ask you to switch because uh, I, I'm very impressed personally in this Hyrule Circuit race at the top left with how Dilly can race with all that blood going up to his head. <laughs> it's like it's, it's, a, it's a really fascinating thing how he's able to do. I don't know if that makes him focus more because there's just, just so much more blood rushing to the big brain. I'm you trying know, to figure it's, out it's, if he's basically, uh, you know, if he's suspended to the ceiling. Maybe he's figured out anti gravity. Uh, maybe he's just balancing on something. I don't know, but he's doing it. Maybe and he oh, just figured out how to like. Who, maybe he's just reached a higher plane. It's possible. I don't know who Rockman is, but he got first in that uh, race. Ooh, let's go, Rockman. I'm going to continue, continually uh, passively power up anyone with a Mega Man, anything in their tags or character choices, pretty much as long as I'm commentating a stream. That's why there's always so many mm. successful Mega Mans on this stream. Huge fan. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, shout out to Rockman. I don't know who you are, but cool tag. Anyways, uh, yeah, more of the usual. I, I don't... I gotta check how many entrants there are, cause I, I I get curious when I see like three lobbies open and people starting their races at the same time, cause usually that indicates that there's a lot of players, but then it's hard to know if like Nintendo netcode is to be responsible or if there's just the quantity of players or, or what's going on. But mm -hmm. it, it, they are split up, because it's better if they're not split up, because you know like we talk about every single week, if they're split up and it's a smaller lobby, you're kind of just farming coins, but. I think Team Dose Circuit's kind of just become known for being mostly just a fun race with the pals and not taken as seriously as, say, like the, the normal Nintendo Circuits on Sundays. Mm -hmm. So it's not that big of a deal. But uh, I, I'm always curious, as someone who streams this game on the weekly, how the lobbies actually work. And honestly, oh, yeah. that's right. I, I just 
for, and I forgot. I can't get the, the updated scores unless I just reset the game entirely. That's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine. You know, Nintendo just so their games just their games are built for comfort, not for speed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, or maybe the other way around. I, I don't know, but I, I totally get what you're saying in that regard. And talking about like you know the disparity between the Glintendo circuit, the, the just the normal Glintendo circuit and the Team Do circuit, I couldn't agree with you more. And frankly, I think they're not taken as seriously. And oh, I know the uh, I know a lot of the pro players don't take it as seriously either because it is kind of a flawed format with how you said like how the Super lobbies are flawed. developed, how the lobbies are built, and uh, how, how what what else was I trying to say here? How the lobbies are built and, and how, how the that weapons happens, used, as well as uh, too. as well as just the disparity of teams. You know, like what where's the honesty? You know, like because there are going to be CPUs who are going to come in who are going to be assigned to random teams from time to time. Even when there is a theme, not everybody is going to do it. I feel like most people are honorable with it, but not everybody is going to do it or understand it as they come in. Like you'll see a King Boo pass if it's like heroes versus villains, and then the King Boo is like on heroes for whatever reason. And you're like, oh, why is that? And then you'll notice it's a CPU. And I, I think it has to, yeah. to to do with how, like, you know, the actual runners of this tournament, you know, take it seriously as well. I, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but there hasn't really been a there hasn't been a theme for the Glintendo circuit for about three weeks. I gotta, now. It's, I, it's actually just been red versus blue again, which, you know, the eternal struggle. You ever play Team Fortress 2, you know, red versus blue. It's a big and deal. All my homies can relate to that. But still, you know, it doesn't relate. Yeah, I, and I think uh, I bring this up too a lot, but I, I think it's just a thing and it kind of makes me laugh a little bit. I think. Glenn was so shook from the time he tried to do something on Smash GG that he was just like, I'm not doing this again. Uh, because there was a few people who got a little upset at that. That was right at the beginning. I think that was maybe the third Team Doe circuit. I, maybe even the second. I think it was the third one. So it was still pretty fresh. And I think he pissed some people off with that. <laughs> we were basically just like, bro, this wasn't run correctly. And I got DQ'd and something, something. And then like some shit happened. And then Glenn's like, dude, I'm just trying to play Mario Kart. And then he just kept it red versus blue because it doesn't do anything. But there's a few people um, in these lobbies that I have not seen yet before. So shout out to new people. I saw Goku main. I saw, yeah, Rockman again. I saw a few people. So mm, who, who knows? Goku, Rockman, liking these names out here. Yeah, really. Everyone's going with the actual, like, names of, of, of things. Which I could appreciate. <laughs> Everybody's like, the names going of, like, existing names of fictional things. characters, you know? I should have said. Yeah, that. man. And not everybody can, you know, come up with some. Not everybody can come up with Nintunist. No, no, that's true. No, that level of genius work. And is... it's good that they don't, because uh, once you do, everybody will make fun of your tag, and they'll just like put whatever before, you know, as a prefix to Tunis for everything that you do. It's funny, I never that, thought that... to do that. I'll, I'll consider it, I guess. I don't really want to, but it's. <laughs> I'm glad I'm aware, aware of it. <laughs> oh, dude, I've heard, I've heard free Tunist. Like, oh, well, what else? What yeah, else? you're coming uh, from the world of Smash. So. Yeah, no, not even just that. Not even just the world of Smash. Just my, my, you know, my YouTube in general. Like, you know, for my YouTube channel, I, I've just had, like, my subs who have just called me different things. I don't know. Apparently, I just have one of those tags that you can just mix and match with, like, a bunch of different things. Not everybody can come up with something so unmalleable or unmockable, if you will. You know, something simple like Coogie or Cold Brew. These guys are out here doing God's work, going down the water slide right now in second and fifth place in their race, respectively. Both teammates, I don't know how they're going to fare against each other. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've seen Coogie as he finishes this race second place. I've seen him take some cheap, some cheap shots every now and again towards the end of Team Doe Circuit. I don't know if you remember last week when he was like one of the only members of his team to be yeah there it is that's the classic one that just got put in the chat thank you i um <laughs> Wait, what? Um, yeah there it is uh, what, what was i gonna say um yeah Kugi, i don't know if you remember last week <laughs> was not a big team player towards the end of the team bill circuit because i think he realized he was like sort of a uh, circling around the lower echelons of top eight which he cared about more towards the end of the yeah well that's so this is <laughs> Dude, they, they started. I have to. I have to honor that. I can't not uh, contribute. What, to what are what are you, Chris, if not a man of honor? I, that's, it's yeah. It's kind of the truth. So that's how it works. But uh, yeah, dude, Kuki was kind of. I think he was complaining about items during the free for all circuits. Actually, uh, it. I give. I give Kuki. Uh, he, he's a man of passion. You know, um, and and the thing about him is he's getting frustrated when he's not getting the results he feels like he should get and I actually was looking back last week where he scored I think in just this past Sunday for regular for the uh, free for alls so we had a record breaking score and that was with uh geez who, who, who won last week oh it was Vertex yeah 
Vertex, new to this series anyways, not new to Mario Kart. He's very much a pro, uh, as far as I can tell. But uh, So basically, he won, and I, he scored 332, and I was looking, I was like, that has to be a record. And, and it was, but it was a record by exactly one coin, or one point, and it was Takugi in week five of, of Glintendo Circuit. Oh my and God. this was before we had all of the crazy like people from Kart Clash, MK Central, all these people who are super good at this game and go to all the other tournaments that exist or attend or uh, you know enter rather. And basically, Kugi's sentiment from this past Glintendo circuit on Sunday uh, was basically, I get stuck in item hell. Meanwhile, the pros kind of get that free pass ahead. Mm. Uh, you know, he still feels. I he's did see that tweet. Yeah, so it's, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Uh, he's having a great day today. I know it's it's take the the team goes with with a grain of salt, but I don't know. We'll that's see. a hell of a John, though. It is a when bit you of really a John. think about it's it. Like the players above me are just so they're they're so good, so they get to get away from these things. Whereas me, I'm so good, but I get punished for being good. He's definitely still like he's a, a player who's good who's still very much in development. And like I'm mm. seeing that it's it's the classic, dude. It's the same thing with like any local Smash player who gets tilted when they lose or go like you know, uh, like two two or less. Like they're just yeah. pissed off and then they get mad at their opponent. But it's like, well, bro, what if you just get better? Like, uh, then that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> that that kind of reminds me. I was thinking about how I was gonna <laughs> tell you, ah, Chris. You know, I never let you down. I love doing the Glintendo circuit together with you. I was gonna, and I was thinking to myself in my head. When I was making this conversation up of like, what have I ever let Chris down before? <laughs> and then I remember locals, and there were actually times where like I, I, and I wouldn't do this anymore. I don't do it anymore. I swear. Where like I would get a little salty at a certain point, and then I just like, I wouldn't want to commentate man. for a while. Salt? And then when I was ready to, there'd be other people. Salt I don't know because like normally okay. like when I was at like the monthlies and stuff, that's when I do like the top eight. So I would wait anyway. And then I don't know something else. It's happen. hard to that's... focus on multiple things. Casting's its own thing. And yeah. Then playing is another thing, and it's the same thing with Mario Kart too. It's just yeah. it's being able to focus on any given thing at one moment. Um, I actually missed the results on that. Okay, it was Kugi Eo Kunio. Um, and I don't know how the red versus blue is shaking out so far, but that was despite Kugi getting first for red, uh, that looked kind of like a blue team win overall because they got second, third, and uh, fifth. Feeling blue on a Tuesday, my friends. Blue already taking this helm going forward. And yeah, I feel you. Everybody's got their roles. I am a commentator. I love this. I love well, to get to be do both. what I do, especially it's for just... multiple games. Never, I never thought I'd be commentating Mario Kart on a regular basis. Who would have thought, is dude? Dummy hype. It's better than i thought it would be i gotta tell you i've genuinely been enjoying these uh, quite a Same. bit it is it's it's just like a whole different it's like a uh, what, what do you call it breath of fresh air right like that's yeah because like for some reason smash you know not even being being as grassroots esports as it is it's like taken so much more seriously because it is still technically a fighting game at the end of the day and the scene has just gotten so big without nintendo's dev support and everything this mario kart is a game that is Another one of Nintendo's games that I believe is really meant to be played casually, but then you realize so many games can be played competitively, and then you'll have an excuse to have people on a microphone for that, and, like, just different games warrant different styles. You know what I mean, Chris? Like, I actually thought about, like, when Mortal Kombat 11 came out, I thought about getting into that game, and I thought about, you know, trying to grow as a caster for that game, but I didn't do that because I never wound up actually playing the game. I never got into the scene right, or anything. Yeah, like, like I literally you... bought MK11, and I never played it which is kind of funny but like point is i don't play that game i don't therefore i don't learn about it therefore i don't know enough about it and it's different because like if you want to talk about commentary smash is a very unique entity compared to other fighting games not just in the literal sense that it is a platform fighter compared to traditional fgc games but it's a different style of commentary as well for fgc games knowing frame data so important that is so, so important to be an FGC commentator. You really got to know frames. That's a really important thing. Yeah, that's... Smash? Not as much. Not People as will say much. that you do, but no. I can tell you from five plus years of being a Smash Brothers, uh, being a Smash Brothers commentator, a guy who's done multiple regionals, majors, the whole shebang, you, you do not need to know all frame data by the letter. It's helpful if you do, but you don't have to. It's not going to slow you down as a Smash commentator. There's more around the game that you could sort of default to. Uh, when you have mm -hmm. like 70 characters in a game, that's when it, you know, that that's kind of how it happens. It gives you like more to talk about because then you get to talk about gorillas fighting children and then like plumbers beating on their dinos 
Uh, don't don't repeat that. And their wives. And their wives. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there, there's there's definitely more to it. up game, man. Yeah, dude. I don't know what's <laughs> yeah. with all the violence. It's crazy. It's like mm-hmm. guns and stuff. Oh yeah, Smash is violent. Imagine if awful. Smash was is actually violent as what happens in the game. Like if it was realistic. When you said Mortal Kombat, I was the first thing I thought of. There was a uh, last DNA stream, uh, the Smash stream. For anyone's unaware, what DNA is, every single Thursday. But uh, the every last one, Thursday. I was showing, um, <laughs> I was showing some of the Mortal Kombat fatalities with the Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. 11 is coming out, and they're just so over the top gruesome. And I think about how spooked I used to be when I was a child. Uh, dude, Kooky's on fire today, by the way. That's a, that's a first place. I think about how, how spooked I was just watching, like, the normal, like, Sega Genesis graphic Mortal Kombat. Talk Marth coming second. Anju, yeah, okay. Yeah, we got the boys in. Adam, Gabe, Kunio. This is a good lobby to be in. Oh, yeah. Almost full. Anyways, so I was watching those fatalities. I was like, I do not envy this generation of children that gets to be super freaked out by, like, all of the realistic-looking fatalities that aren't really realistic because they're over the top. But, like... Oh, yeah. I'm just like, geez. Yo, is Rock Band using the Mega Man? Uh, he's using the Mega Man. Maybe. He Let's is. go. That's hype. He is. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so proud. Fun fact, with this game, if you have uh, Amiibos, you can tap your Amiibos onto your console and you will get special outfits depending on the Amiibo that you use. One of those outfits is, of course, Mega Man for the Mega Man Amiibo, and then you can throw that on your Mi, play as Mega Man, get those, get that sweet outfit for your uh, for your character. But yeah, it's like, it's, it's so funny, Chris, because like, I'm not a horror movie guy. I get spooked, but like, when it comes to violence in movies, I feel like violence in horror movies, it bothers me a lot more than it does in video games because Mortal Kombat is pretty much the pinnacle of violence, <laughs> in the, especially in video <laughs> that's games. Like, I mean, dude, like literally, games don't really get more violent than Mortal Kombat. That's its whole it thing. It does not bother me at all. Yeah, it's 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 like a desensitizing thing. But luckily, you don't have to mm-hmm. worry about that in Mario Kart. You don't really have to worry about seeing slaughter in front of you. You're just you're just watching people race. And, you're like, all and right, to bring back what okay. you said before, you know, a big part of it. Is not just because it's not happening to innocent people in Mortal Kombat, it's happening to like warriors, combatants, and stuff. It's also because they're just so over the top. And like the one I'm about to say doesn't even scratch the surface of being over the top. But in MK9, like one of Sonya Blade's fatalities is that she lifts you up by her legs and splits you in half with her thighs. That like that that can't How happen. <laughs> like, that can't happen it's in real so life. Funny. So you watch that and you're like, this is just you're ridiculous. Just, you're just like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who conjures that up? <laughs> That's so good, man. Someone had like a really bad nightmare, like fever dream one day, which is like, all right, this would go good in this game. Uh, Sonya Blade for Mario Kart. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, I still. Yeah, I who... believe. I mean, I was gonna say you gotta, but you definitely don't have to. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, don't, you definitely you don't, should. You, yeah, you don't gotta believe that. <laughs> you don't. Got... <laughs> you don't got a dilly diamond down here in the bottom left on this sunshine airport run right now the leaf sitting pretty on his second lap doing good right here dropping just a quick frame but it doesn't matter too much meanwhile i believe right behind, oh no 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 that is actually a different race that we got up there different lobby that, here that mixed sunshine me too airport. that totally mixed me i thought that was the same rock man getting another first place though making it happen for the red team because i think the red making team it happen is, for mega man yeah making it happen for mega man i'm so happy to have the op mega mans on the stream all the time we got to watch Peep Nut, uh, all collision on Saturday. I was like, I got like, oh, that is true. I, I believe like finished five, third. Yeah, I got like five Peep Nut matches. Peep Nut's a, 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 a pro smasher, by the way. He, he mains Mega Man. I, I'm also mm-hmm. remembering now that I get to explain some Smash stuff to people who might not like watch or have anything to do with like Smash competitive. But although mm-hmm. I, I do find Smash and Mario Kart do go very hand in hand because they're both like the best selling games on the console. So like, For if you sure. got a Switch, there's a good chance you have. At least one, probably both of these games. Yeah, probably. true. And a lot of the characters in this game are also featured in Smash, not just the Mario ones. You got Link, you got the Inklings, the whole shebang out here for for your guys' viewing pleasure. And like, yeah, and I totally understand that. Like, sometimes having to explain something else like that. I mean, for my new video on my YouTube channel, I was talking about Paper Mario. You have a new video and, today? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I, we're, I'm bringing it up again later. What the Don't heck? Worry, we'll, we're doing yeah, it. we'll show well, I'm it. I'll show it. it. I'm bringing it up I'm going to show it. Worry, Dilly it. liked it. Dilly liked it. I want to talk about oh, it. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, dude. Oh, you saw God. it? Oh, God, God, look at that. Oh, my God. Dilly liked it. Ah, the, yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. Oh. Also, oh, I don't know who Cynic is, but getting first, also making it happen for Red Team. I can't tell. I think today might actually be like an even day, and if it is, I'm going to be happy, and I might just be kidding myself. But anyways, go on. 
<laughs> well, I was going to say is that I'm, I'm sure from what you've seen that video, and a spoiler alert for the Mintunas video. <laughs> like in that video, I what big part of the video is that I explain why uh, most Paper Mario fans have a pretty big distaste for Sticker Star and Color Splash, especially Sticker Star, because I realized I had a lot of younger viewers who were going to watch that video and not know why Sticker Star is generally considered to be as bad of a game as it's as it's considered. So I just spent a part of that video explaining that, and I was just bringing that up because you were correlating, you know, probably have some viewers that aren't really too big on Smash. You know, we were here watching for Mario Kart, who just might be coming in here from God knows anywhere, you know? So it's just, it feels good to just be able to explain something like that just a little bit. Uh, I was actually just hit up by uh, Koopa, recently because he's very interested in learning video editing and he wants me to uh yeah wants me to help him out with that i mean I, he, I make his commentary reels yeah he mentions dad, and they're so. always good by the way i don't know if you were able i don't know if you saw that probably not there we have three lobbies of just two people so uh <laughs> you hate to see it oh that's actually kind of hype actually because now like it's just gonna mean like the race is just gonna be like a one-on-one -on -one, basically yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at, and I think uh, someone was one-on-one -on -one with uh, someone from the UK who's nice, who I believe has... That's his tag is nice, not like he's nice. He's, he probably is nice, but his tag is nice. Um, his tag is also nice, but it's actually nice. You know what I mean? I bet he's a D-bag. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just confused now. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure, Anyways, I'm sure he's very nice, nice from as well. the UK. I, no, no, I saw him. I saw you say it before. I saw his yeah, tag he, was um, nice, which is a very... A very nice tag. It's a very nice tag. Pun intended. So yeah, uh, that that's one of the lobbies. But oh, okay, Kuki has he has a, a, a moderately sized lobby. I believe they're going. Yeah, Matt Wario. And he's got. Okay, okay, that that was oh. two. I, did they cut the race short? How did that work? I guess they never started. Cause yeah, that's the Kugi nice lobby, the nice Kugi lobby, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Has Anju and Zodiac in there. So this is this is going to be the try hard race at the moment. Because all these it's got Takamarth in there as well. Yeah, and Takamarth. Yeah, all these people usually are top eight candidates. So we'll see how that all pans out. Uh, meanwhile, uh, yeah, that's Kunio, I believe, who is doing the one on one with Eo uh, currently. Although, are they? They might be on the same team. I have to see that. I mean, they are on the same team. They yeah, are. But like, if I was, if I was Kunio, I would just Beyblade it, dude. Let it rip. It's only you and him. There's no. There's. There's only CPUs in there. I mean, come on. I, you gotta get that. You gotta chase that. That's w, how most guy. people. That's how most people operate in this. And I think it's. It, it kind of is the way, especially the way the way Glenn does the top eight. Like you might as well just get the spot on there. Like it's like it's your Glenn, teammate, dude. whatever. Yeah, Glenn does. I will never forget when he mutilated me for no reason at the end of that freaking uh, pipe slider, piranha plant slider race. Yeah, like what, we were on the same team. Did. He was winning. He was ahead. He had no reason to just screw me over like that. And then he just chucked it back. What a jerk. Sick of Glenn putting it back, man. I mean, I want to see the true... F I want to see the true test of Glenn's fundies, man. I mean, you see him on Twitter.com being like, Yo, Palu is the savior of Ultimate. Just pick her up already, dude. Just do it. Anyway. Yeah, that's Palu, so strange. Also for Mario Kart. To that I, that's time. another one for Mario Kart. I'm down. It's going to happen in, in the uh, Nintendo racing game we've, we've been talking about all this time. Dude, so. stop, 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 Dude. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Yo taking it over, Kunio. Um, I guess Kunio did not let her let her rip the Beyblade. Didn't happen. Um, didn't happen, man. Didn't just happen. He didn't like he didn't pull it back enough. Did you not. know, it, it just it just broke halfway through it because those things are cheap and disposable. And, you know, then everybody makes fun of you at recess because now you're the only kid who doesn't have a, you know, working Beyblade. And your mom, like, just bought you one. So like she's not gonna do it again. She's like, you broke your Beyblade already, and like there's tears in your eyes. You just want you just want the recess clout, but now you're not gonna get it because like your Beyblade exploded. I hate that this then, has happened to you. But then you find this guy at like the back of the uh then you find this guy at like the back of the toy store who normally your parents would tell you to never talk to, but then he takes you under his <laughs> wing and he teaches you the ways of the Beyblade. And then you finally like you're finally able to defeat that bully kid in front of his girl is and everything. A, is this an Antina's <laughs> origin story? I want I, I want to believe that too. I, there's so many things I want to believe today, and that's one of them. You believe what you want, my friend. All that right, was uh, I was sold. trying to take the Karate Kid and sort of apply it to Beyblade, or well, I've actually never seen the All Karate right, get Kid. It. I it's your how, story. I assume that's cool. how the Karate Kid cool, goes. Okay. I, I don't know. I've never seen that movie. <laughs> Black Mamba, though, first place over at the bottom right with Daisy. Yes. Yeah, look at that, dude. Uh, also, that's my that's my that's my wife. <laughs> Also, I that's just, my 
wife. I, I do see that Knight has found his way into one of the races. He races races. He's currently third place. He's right. <laughs> he's right behind Dilly um, on the bottom left. And I, I'm giving him a shout out because he he is the cart clash like guy. It's, it, it's his. It, that's his operation. Uh, that, that's how I've been learning all this really good stuff. So shout outs to him for entering. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Either way, yeah, that's tonight winning. Look at that. See, I'm glad I oh talked about God. it. Black Mamba coming in second. Good, I'm glad. I hope that makes you a little bit less tilted, Black Mamba. Let's go. Uh, um, well, yeah, I hope it does. He came in here and was telling us how this game tilts him but, but like guess, a lilac cruiser. Yeah, but he doesn't want you to touch his girl, though, so I don't know what to tell you about that. Already did, homie. Oh, shit. But as we continue on throughout these <laughs> oh, no. races... Races. <laughs> Lazy, yeah, Lazy, here's, here's Lazy, 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 Here's Mute City, Racy. Um, <laughs> we're just getting started, too, Stop dude. Stop saying that! Racy. Stop calling them more Racies. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I don't even like that word now. I, oh, my God. I can, I'm the, sorry. The I hate to hang, I don't want to hang up on it anymore. I'm sorry. It was just really, really funny. <laughs> Racies. There's Takamarth. Fun fact, Takamarth not from Japan. Not from Japan. Not yeah. from Japan. Not be fooled. Nope, don't be fooled. Not like me. Uh, and there's this really ridiculous jump that Kuki takes that you better know, otherwise you're going to lose this race. Because it seems pretty free, actually. Because it looks like the physics of the game keeps you on track. Yeah, especially with the water slide on on blue, uh, on blue Big Blue, which is... Uh... Which just makes for like a lot of really fun interactions because like it's just like a little part of the track that literally speeds you up, which is a lot of fun. Fun F Zero lore for you guys right there. Big Blue is based on a planet. Uh, I mean, Big Blue is a it's a it's a track that is set on a planet that is made up of like ninety five percent water. Really? Or some or something like that. Yeah, yeah. If you actually That's look cool. at the environment of Big Blue, like there are like there are like buildings that come out of the water and everything, and then notice. all there is is just like a track. You ever look in the background of the Big Blue stage on Smash? Yeah, I, know, I guess it is. It's a lot of water. I just didn't realize mm -hmm. there was like yeah. The lore is that like it's an entire planet that is like completely made of water that they just put a racing track on. It's funny for for a game that's had one installment back in like 1995 or four, whenever it was, and you haven't really seen much since. There's a little mm -hmm. bit. It's pretty good. Uh, There's right. been a few. I mean, there was F Zero 64. There was F Zero GX on the GameCube, I and was, that man. I believe was the last one. Hmm. So rip the homie Falcon, who will probably never get a game again. Probably anyway. not. I mean, maybe yeah. maybe he'll be in Nintendo Racers too. I mean, people said, like, no, people were actually, like, afraid that Falcon was going to be in this game. When they were adding DLC to well, it, when they started adding the F-Zero tracks, has people been. were actually afraid of that because they thought, like, if F-Zero, if, like, if Captain Falcon gets added to Mario Kart, then that's, like, the official, like, super nail in the coffin yeah, that for F-Zero as a franchise. Yeah, well, 200cc, I mean, what, what goes faster than that, right? F-Zero? Pretty Jeez, much. What the heck is that? Yo, Kunio's flat, bro. Um, all right, let's see. He's trying to take that big shortcut, which I actually didn't really know about until like I've been watching people take it in these races where you kind of come out from underneath the water. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like a really good shortcut. Troll simulator, dude. Come out from under the bridge. <laughs> uh, Kunio yo, flat. Dilly. That was one getting... flat white ball. Flat white ball is going to finish Yo, Dilly and place. Cold Brew, one and two, the boys. Ooh, let's go, Dilly. Over Night Adam and Black Mamba. The Ooh, other. did you see that mini pop-off of the camera that he did? I don't blame him. That's like actually a pretty tough lobby, to be entirely honest with you. Those are all no, pretty Dilly's good players. Good. Yeah, Dilly's yeah, good. Yeah, I've, I've raced good. with him, dude. He's freaking pretty nice. All those guys are really good. Oh, yeah. I mean, not as good as uh, not as good as Cafe Cold Brew's waifu here, who nah, I believe dude. is the best Mario Kart player to ever exist. Yeah, easy. Free. <laughs> I love you. Super free. Anyway. <laughs> Super free for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a GBA F Zero game Japan exclusive. I actually didn't know that, but thank you. Yeah, and that, don't the F Zero mini game in Nintendo World, <laughs> dude. He's just like, rip the rip the homie. Fa Captain Falcon is a Smash character. They acknowledge okay. his existence, but they just they're just like, but yeah, we don't really need more games. And I well, guess... I mean, they're afraid that it's not going to sell well. I mean, Nintendo has like their big sellers, and they're really so afraid of they have... doing too much else with a lot of other things. Have... I mean, not all of their franchises sell. No, you're right. A lot of them. There's several that don't. That's why so many games have died. But Pretty there much. are. So I guess it's kind of like, oh, we have our racing game in Mario Kart, so we're not going to break another record. Or Although, d making games, is the intention of his break records? I mean, it shouldn't be, but I, it might I, be. Nintendo just does it by accident, man. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how they do it. 
Uh, even when they think they're having like crossover games, those are even good. Like I don't know if you've ever played Mario and Rabbids, but that game's incredible. It's, it's basically uh, XCOM. It's really I still haven't. Good. Glenn goes on Dude, Twitter all the time and he tells people to, to play, play it. I'm that. not the biggest strategy game guy, which is why I've but held back boys. on it. But it's like you 20 love, bucks now. I, I really Mario. should. I think it's like, it might even be cheaper than that. It might even be like 15. Something like that. I mean, I, I got no excuse. My backlog of games is big, but I mean, again, no real excuse, especially now. But uh, yeah, continuing up. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, crap. It's gone. My train of thought is gone. <laughs> Either way. Uh, Cafe Cold Brew sitting in eighth place over here on the TikTok clock. Uh, wait, what? No, no, no. It's coming back to me. Oh, it was on the tip of my tongue. No, damn it, David. What was it? Uh, damn, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's gone. <laughs> Damn it! All right, <laughs> almost, whatever. Almost had him there. I almost, almost. I almost had I, I it, thought, man. I'm hoping yeah. it's gonna. I'm hoping it's gonna come back to me, man. The GBA F Zero game did it have something to do with F Zero. No, it was something to do with how they're. We were talking about how their franchise is sold. Um, yeah. It, it's it's gone. I'm, I'm, it's, it's gone. Okay. I'm spending too much time it's, on it. It's, 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 Whatever. It's, it's gonna be okay. unfortunate. It's, gonna be okay. it's, it's, it's not. Yeah. It's not gonna yeah, be okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, it, it, it doesn't happen. It does. It only <laughs> happens to me. I'm the only person who's ever forgotten anything. I know. You should be a little embarrassed about that. I should be actually. And speaking of embarrassed, Dilly unfortunately forgotten how to drive for a second, proving I'm not the only person who forgets things. Unfortunately, falling off the track right there, going down from second to fourth place. I don't think this is the final lap. Not even nope. close. We are on yeah. the third one mm -hmm. as he gets mutilated by a green shell right at the uh, right at the finish line right there, falling down to seventh for this track. Will he be able to recover? Got Black Mamba in front of him, so it's going to be hard. Yeah, and then uh, Cunio and, and Knight both rep in red today. Um... And first and second, although, oh, no, no, I don't know what happened tonight. I just saw him a minute ago because that is, who's in front? That is TCNJ Grand. Oh, Grad. Oh, that's Luke, dude. That's, that's oh, Luke Skywalker. Yay. I know my context in, in Mario Kart titles. Congra congratulations on graduation. Exciting. Um, congratulations, wow, holding it down, That is a dude. huge accomplishment. Holding it down. Look at that. He's going to win, too. That's what happens, dude. Look at that. That's what happens Let's with go, a good Luke. education. Yeah, this is TCNJ education. Get you a first place on TikTok clock. Let's go. Well, I don't know if it really yeah, gets you that, but it did this I time feel, around. I feel half of what I learned at Montclair was how to get better at Smash. <laughs> oh, I, that's that's the real thing, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. What else are you going to Oh, and over here, Cheap Cheap Beach. One of my favorite beach tracks. A really random one to add into this game. I mean, of a lot of tracks to add from Mario Kart DS. Little bit surprised they chose to remaster this one. So, I mean, I feel like there's nothing too special about it. As a course, it's kind of a generic beach course. I if think you it's would. almost. Too, I I don't like it because it's like too open in that middle part. Oh no, what's going on, Kooks? What you doing? What you doing, baby? You okay? Oh, oh, I was just gonna say. Yeah, but anyways, I don't like like how the middle. It's literally just like, I don't know. It, you just kind of drive under the water, or you don't. I don't. Even, it doesn't even seem like there's like an optimal route for it, to be honest with you, because even some of the good guys, uh, the really good guys that race on this, like, we'll see how Kooky approaches it. But, like, you kind of just go straight forward if you can, right? Like, yeah, there he goes. It's just like a straight darting thing. And, like, it's just kind of lame. Like, it's just like there's that big straightaway, and if you can't bust through all the, the bottom parts of the water, like, you just kind of take the top. I don't know. It's, it's just, yeah, it feels no, very I agree uninspired. With you. I feel like the well. optimal route there is just going straight, and that is if you have a good item. So, I mean, as open as it is, it doesn't feel like there's a really best route for it, unless you have, like, you know, mushroom, golden mushroom about that. So, I agree. It's a little polarizing in that sense, and then it's also just kind of boring at yeah, the end of the day because it's, like, really open. Like you say, if you don't have any items, what is just the optimal route to go around? Because, like, why would you go left? Why, why would you go left yeah, and you just literally stay on the never, bars and everything? You're just making it, you know, take longer for yourself to get around by just drifting around, like, the actual whole open area rather than just go straight through it, you know? So, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's really interesting to say the least. And speaking of uninteresting, we got uh, Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road. Oh, God, you're among so right. my personal least favorite Rainbow Roads in the entire franchise. Like, way to take actually, out all of, all of the magic of Rainbow Road. I know, uh, it's like making a space station and have everything yeah. be about technology. No, Rainbow Road is a magical gay pride road in the sky. Yeah, like treat it like one, you know? But yeah. anyways, uh, I also just saw Bryce pop in. Uh, it looks like he may have just started. And I like how Bryce <laughs> reps Bryce. The, uh, the baby characters and still makes it work. Because those characters are, are supposed to kind of just be like bottom tier. Because uh, they're so little. And they just get knocked around and aren't very fast. Glad they're actually bottom tier too. Because like baby Rosalina... It's literally not a thing. 
never been in any game. I, I don't know why they exist. There just has to be a baby version of everybody, and then Diddy Kong can't be in this well, game. Well, it's like Pinkle Peach. So, like, they just kind of put them in to... It's probably just because it was easy. Oh, no, Dilly. Oh, no, yeah. Dilly, no. No. I just think it's so weird, because I also just think it, like, takes away, like... I mean, Rosalina's backstory is that she was literally left her home as a child, so why is there a freaking like, baby Rosalina there? I, I don't get it. I mean, I guess, like, to children, it makes sense. I mean, when I was a kid and playing Mario Kart Wii, it made sense to me, like, seeing a baby version of, like, I don't know, the core group of characters, if you would. But, I mean, the, I feel like the older you get, the dumber you feel it is. All right, dude, I got actually a, a good question. I think you're a, the person to answer it. Um, I, I'm the on. best person to answer any question it's, that has ever been asked. Yeah, it's true. All right. So, so <laughs> ever. Um, ever. Ever, ever. Hold on, I'm trying to get it so you could actually see it. So the question is, if you could choose the courses for four retro cups in the next Mario Kart, what would you choose? Ooh, for four retro courses in the next Mario Kart. Ooh, that's a big one. I mean, it's definitely hard to think of literally every single, yet yeah, every single Mario Kart track that has ever been a track. It's if I had faves. them all in front of me, which I actually, you know, if I can't think of five right now, or if, not five, if I can't think of four right now, I will just pull up like a literal list of Mario Kart think, tracks at the left, because we'll, if I see them all in front of me, remember. I will know all yeah, of them. But definitely. to think of some of them, let me put uh, some knowledge to myself right here. Maybe Mushroom, uh, maybe Mushroom City. If I, I don't know if it was called Mushroom City, uh, maybe Mushroom City from Double Dash. That that was a good one. Uh, I liked I liked that one personally. Uh, what else? What else is another one? Oh no no no! Shroom City was from uh, that was from Mario Kart Wii. I would definitely I add that track City, back. Yeah. That track was lit. I loved that one. Uh, what else? What else? I would say Calamari Desert, but that one was already in Mario Kart Seven. So definitely, so not that one. I, it literally the hard the, the hard thing about this is literally just like thinking of all of them in my head. So you know what I'm gonna do? I got my second monitor right here. I'm just gonna full screen this back up again, and I'm literally just gonna Google. List to be honest of with you, Mario Kart Seven. Mario Kart tracks <laughs> in the history of ever. Dude, MK Seven though, I, I gotta tell you, is so old now. Where I think even if they did like a retro track of that, they would just do. You know they could do it again. Like we're we're Ooh. we're like a decade plus, probably almost two removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's very much uh, that's very much true. I agree with that. Dude, oh, going Daisy so Circuit, Daisy Circuit, oh, absolutely race. Daisy Circuit from Mario Kart. Dude, Wii. I, that's one of my retro. Yo, Kuki's sure. going so fast. His frame rate's getting all off. Look how fast he's going. I actually did notice that. I think this kid. I think this guy is actually kind of starting to break the sound barrier a little bit. That's how fast he's going. Look at that. Hey, if there's any player in this lobby who'd be able to, you know, find some way to break the sound barrier in freaking Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I think it's Koogie Koogie. Oh, yeah, right? you could choose Mario Kart 8 tracks, too. That's that's part of the... Oh, we can? Of, that's part oh, of the, yeah, okay, because because it would be for um, the next game. Oh, then Mount Wario. Mount Wario for yeah, sure. Yeah, that, that one should stay. That one should definitely stay. Uh, Wario Coliseum is definitely pretty good. Um, especially, yeah, for, for a Retro Cup. It's pretty straightforward level, and I like it. I don't think I know many people who dislike Wario Stadium. Yeah, I, I Wario Stadium is another good one as well. I mean, I I like Wario Stadium a lot less as Kugi finishes first at this uh, Rainbow Road 64 track. Wario Coliseum. Oh no 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 no. Okay no no no. You're thinking of Wario Stadium, Chris? Oh, I am thinking of Wario. Stadium. He's talking about Wario Coliseum. Wait, which one's Wario Double Coliseum? Oh, uh, Wario Coliseum uh... is a track in Mario Kart Double Dash that was actually so big. It is one. It is the only track in the game where there are only two laps. I remember that now. Wow, that's yeah. that's a weird stage. Uh, also, mm. uh, I saw Luke just get second again. That's blue team coming in the convoy one, two, and three in that race, and then red uh, three, four. Or I'm sorry, four, five, six. So uh, with that in mind, I think I will probably get us a score update now that we have we're probably like we like halfway through ish, ish, not quite. Um, eh, ish. <laughs> eh. Oh boy. Uh, but to bring back certain tracks, definitely Mount Wario. That's one of them. Definitely Daisy Circuit from Mario Kart Wii. I love that track. The music on that track is too good to not bring back. I would say Waluigi Pinball, but that one was actually in Mario Kart 7. So I, I'm, I'm trying to think of stages that have actually not been brought back. I, I, like, I, I hope you realize that's what I'm trying to do here. Like, I mean, if we're going with ones that haven't been brought back, I mean, that might change it. But yeah, I would definitely go with Mount Wario. Uh, Daisy Circuit, maybe Frappe Snowland from Mario Kart 64. Actually, I'm a fan of that track. 
personally. Uh, and then probably, what is the one? What is the one for Mario Kart Wii? Which, uh, it's the one called, uh, I'm trying to, rem trying to remember here. It's, uh, Moonview, Moonview Highway. That might be the one. Okay. Yeah, there you go. If I had to pick four, that's probably my four right there. That took a lot longer than I realized. I went to like the Mario Kart Wiki. This website has like <laughs> a Mario, this website has like a Mario glove. as like the cursor. Dude, it's, it's lit out here. Yeah, Mario Kart has been around for a very long time. There are a ton of tracks. What if the next one just has like every track and it's just like an Dude. infinite game? Oh, that's what I was hoping. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. I wonder. There, there's a lot they could do with that. It makes me wonder if they'd have new stages, though. They'd kind of have to. It'd be weird for them to release a Mario Kart that has everything and not have new stages. Um, well, to correlate it to Smash, I mean, which I have to do because obviously Smash Brothers is the only video game to ever exist ever, and it's there's therefore we have to speak about it in every single Mario Kart stream. Yes. Uh, in Ultimate, what they did is that Ultimate has literally almost every. Uh, it, it has well, not literally almost everyone, but pretty much almost every uh, stage that has ever been a stage in Smash. I mean, they cut some, like they cut some that you know I guess were just too similar aesthetically, I suppose, to other ones that don't make sense to be in the game. Like I think. Uh, Planet Zebes, Planet Zebes from uh, Smash 64. They never brought that stage back. They probably felt like there wasn't a point because it's literally a basically a Brinstar stage, and they brought back Brinstar and Brinstar deaths and whatnot in uh, in Ultimates. So there just wasn't really much of a point. But uh, to answer your question, if like how would they bring back new stages? If they were remastering every single stage, my dude. I mean, if we're being realistic, there probably wouldn't be very many new ones. I mean, look at Ultimate. Ultimate had three new stages at launch, and then it added a new one with each DLC. Yeah, that's true. But other than that, like, every other stage, oh, right, literally every other stage was one that was in the game before. So. DLC is very much a thing, so maybe that's... I don't know, I, I'm so curious of the formula they're going to take, because, I don't know, what do you think the next Mario Kart will be out in, like, a year? I, I feel like would be a good time frame for it, right in the middle of the lifespan of the Switch, right after, like, the big games, like, Smash have all settled, and... Mm. Who knows what's going to happen with Splatoon. I'm sure they'll probably pump out one of those, too. They, yeah. They did one of the Splatfests very recently, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were just sort of experimentally trying to see what they can do with it moving forward. I mean, their 2020 has been relatively dry in terms of announcements. It's probably why we were caught very off guard the other uh, the other week when they announced uh, when they announced Origami King. I mean, the reason it blew me out of the water when they announced a new Paper Mario game out of nowhere is because they literally just had not announced anything else like all year so like it kind of blows my mind in that regard i mean there, there are these big rumors that they're remastering a lot of the 3d marios apparently like that rumor has been around for quite some time at this point and people are really expecting them to announce a remaster of 3d world at this point which right. would not surprise me at all if they were to do that but to answer your question like with uh, new games i agree I, I mean i doubt they're gonna go like the entirety of the switch's lifespan without a new new mario kart but there i mean then again this is the best-selling game on the console, right? So to a lot of casual gamers who, like, would just want to play Mario Kart, do you really think they're going to buy Mario Kart for the same console again? That's actually a pretty good question. I do think, like, like a new, shiny, brand-new, shiny Mario Kart might actually do something, but I do hear what you're saying. Especially, like, if you're a parent and you're a kid, you know, a classic That's what parent I'm saying. psychology. Like, you know, I already a have lot. this game. And so I know it owned a Wii U. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Because people thought they already owned it because they owned a Wii. That's why the, yeah. the branding of that system was so atrocious. The 3DS was I, atrocious branding too, but that system was so good where it kind of did okay. Actually, the I mean, to did amazing answer your game. question going forward. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, no, you're good. You good? Uh, well, to answer your question going forward, I was uh, about oh, how would people uh, like how would parents react to that? You know, parents would not react to that in a good way. Because, I mean, in my stint when I was uh, when I was working as a Nintendo brand ambassador, when I was literally working directly for the company, I, I dealt with, like, you know, parents buying stuff for the holiday season all the time. And, you know, I had to convince them to buy certain games. And when they were asking for certain games, I would match one to their taste. Like, I'd be like, you're looking for something single player, multiplayer, or something that's fun for the whole family, something a little more adult oriented, you know, whatever. And I would match a game to them because I just had the knowledge, which is part of how I got the job. And, uh... 
to like to answer going forward I've dealt with a lot of parents who would be a little more stingy when it came to like you know disciplining their kid you know like I would deal with parents who were like you know coming to the store with their kid to buy them a game and they didn't know what to buy or they didn't want to buy their kid a game or something you know and like it would be my job to like convince them of which one to buy you know like sort of relate to them in that sure. way so I've seen parents deal with that and a lot of those parents would not buy a new Mario Kart game for their child if there already is like a Mario Kart game on the Switch. They would just see that as a secondary thing. And even Nintendo knows that, and they would cater to that market. Yeah. And Chris, what I will tell you right. is that this is all the more reason for that. If they want there to be an individual Mario Kart game on the Switch that is not a port of one for a different console, it's all the more reason to make it Nintendo Kart and just have like all the different characters yeah, in it. That is the dude. only thing in my mind. That is the only it. way I can possibly see them justifying to like parents and kids and stuff to sell another Mario Kart game on the Switch you... when this one is already the top selling game on the console. You honestly, that's my two cents. No, you might be right. And that's something I've joked about a lot with like Nintendo Kart versus Mario Kart and when that comes out and stuff. But oh, wow. Kunia just got smacked mm. in the front and in the back. But it is interesting. I actually think that'd be cool, though, um, where you just have like other Nintendo characters. They sort of did that a little bit with this, just with Amiibos and like basically Link Inkling and, and uh, Villager. And it makes sense, like, that. you know, you take your biggest franchises, put the main character in, and see how people like it. And then they even put, like, a BMW in it, and some BMW wheels, so they got they got all the main characters. It was a Mercedes, Chris. God. A Mercedes is BMW. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, jeez, I tried to get this guy, and then I got got. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, I got destroyed, dude. Oh, I just feel like less of a man. Okay. Anyway, um... But going forward, uh, there's a YouTuber. Uh, his name is Arlo. Uh, he's a little blue puppet, right? And he, uh, okay. he's a little he's a little blue puppet, and he's a gaming channel. He does like pretty much he does like reviews, like videos about Nintendo. His channel really blew up when he made a video years ago when Color Splash was announced called "The Problem with Paper Mario," and. Uh, He's like I a little hear. like family friendly blue Muppet that does like reviews of games and stuff. Uh, mm. Wise guy is a big fan of him as well, and uh, he's actually a Nintendo brand ambassador. He makes videos with Ninten for Nintendo, I should say, on the YouTube channel. Right, uh, a lot of YouTubers have that like sponsorship deal or whatever. He made a video about you know Nintendo Kart, and uh, he just listed a bunch of reasons as to like why it should happen. Like he like pretty much that whole video he made is like, okay, here's an idea. It's a Nintendo Kart. Why not? Why would Nintendo not make that at this point? He feels like there's no reason for them to really not do so, it. And one of those reasons for me personally is just, I just think, you know, it's one of their only ways to justify selling it. But I already said that, so. What do you think, though? I'm just curious if such a thing ever did exist. Uh, yes. I wonder what they do with the items. Is it basically, is it literally Mario Kart? Just with, like, I think there'd be different tracks, different items. It's hard to, hard to know, really. Although one maybe... item per franchise, probably. I just wonder if we're being realistic, because like there's if they were putting if they were going to put all those franchises in the game in one way or another and they want items to be represented entirely, then that'd be a lot of items. I'm not yeah, going to lie. They would probably just have many. to do like one per franchise just to keep it like a normal amount. But I don't know. I mean, just put like a bomb, a boomerang from Zelda. What else? Like a little charge ball or something from Metroid. I just uh, I don't know. The possibilities are endless, dude. Yeah, I was wondering about all the stages too. If they make a bunch of new stages, like I, although oh, they dude. could easily do that, like I say easily, as if I'm like a game developer, but I I, I just feel like <laughs> they can. Anyways, uh, so, being a game dev is easy. So what's, what's that? Kugi finishing right behind. Um, so waiting. Zodiac. All right, nice. Yeah, Zodiac came a little mm, bit late today. Very nice. Asserting the dominance as he usually does. Already at 130 points. Yeah. So that's your boy cool. down in seventh, unfortunately. It's your boy. And Rockman. It's okay. He's had a couple good races. You know, sometimes the, the metal gets a little heavy when you start to fatigue a little bit. Sometimes you yeah, get got, and then sometimes the got gets you. Yeah, that's true. All right, so ooh, da nail on the shortcut, Cunio. That ooh. shortcut always stresses me out every single time. Uh, me it's too. So it's a harder to one to up. make than it looks. It's so easy to mess that one up. Um, but nails it, and at a good point in the race too. Didn't really need it to clutch it at the end, but it does catch him up some grounds. Um, and I don't know who's in front of him, but he does have a little bit of work to get ahead from the looks of the map, as. Uh, okay, yeah, that's one down. It's Glenn uh, has Red Shell right on the tail. Does get it going. Cunio does have another two. 
And I think it's... T although, that's his teammate, so those red shells are really in search of whoever's in front of Glenn. Who I'm not sure, but it looks like they might already be done. I don't know, never mind, it's Bryce, who's trying to get the shortcut. And, oh my god, nails it. And does narrowly... Oh my god, did he pass him at the last second? I think he passed him Ooh, at the last second. Let's find out. Holy I actually crap. can't even tell. I'm if I was, it was, if it was my job to be the photo finisher guy, I would have blinked. He dude, did! Yeah, he totally passed him. He sniped him right at the end. That's crazy. Oh, Meanwhile, he does get first... Coming in, uh, also not sure if he started late, but either way, getting that first place always feels good. And I think we're just waiting now. Yeah, everyone's in their lobbies, waiting on the things. Dilly, uh, offline for the night, had to go do some stuff from from the sounds of it, and that's okay. That's glad okay, we, glad we got, Yeah, glad, glad we had him for some races. That's always nice. We still love you. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be a big toss up here. We got Big Blue, which is a huge fan favorite, and a lot of guys in this lobby actually voting for Neo Bowser City, which is apparently another fan favorite. It's one of my least favorite tracks in the game, personally, as well as TikTok Clock, which is aesthetically one of my favorites in the game because it derives directly from Mario Kart 64. I mean, not, not Mario Kart 64, Mario 64, one of the greatest games ever made. And we are going to Neo Bowser City. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're going to have a good time there. No, no matter what, Neo Bowser City, it's a good city, plenty of nightlife. You know, there, there are tubes that you can go in to get from place to place. Uh, you ever go to Bowser's Bistro? Get the finest freaking chicken parm in town. It's, it's really good. That Look at that tight. paratrooper at the right. He just got back from there. Yeah, he just yeah, got back yeah. from Bowser's Bistro. He's, he's pretty that. excited it's about fresh. it. Look at him. He's just jumping up and down with glee. Yeah, he's got a full stomach, good meal, good meal in the belly. It's good. You got the, you got the dry bones as well, dude. I, I mean, the chicken parm there is so good that he, he died. He literally, he actually he literally died. died. From him. He's like, Mwah! and then he just like eviscerated into his bones. <laughs> uh, Black Mamba. Fun fact: you know if you poke the Pillsbury Doughboy in the stomach too hard, it dies. Oh, dude, that's really disturbing to think about. Yeah, that's pretty disturbing. He's at the whim of your of your touch, whether it's gentle or not. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't want to know if it sounds different when he's about to die or not, but... I mean, does he have any, like, what, what is... Does he have, like, anatomically correct innards? Like, what is he made out of? The big questions here. Um... The big question here. And I'm looking at King Boo, which kind of reminded me of Pillsbury Doughboy. I mean, I was thinking about him just because I was memeing, but, I mean, looking at King Boo... Look at the, oh, another King Boo in Knight, actually, yeah, zooming, over, of, uh, zooming over Kunio King, here. A lot of people using King Boo today. Um, I don't know. Pretty what popular character. Is, I don't know if he falls in cruiser relates or maybe just a little bit less than that, maybe. I want to say <sighs> I that have he no should. Idea. Maybe it's the crown that weighs a lot, but I feel like ghosts traditionally don't, you know, no, no weight because, because they're just a ghost. But actually, I don't really know the physics of ghosts. I, I, I couldn't tell you, let alone Mario Universe uh, ghosts. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're little cutesy ghosts. I mean, he's just a ball. Yeah, you know, but any, but anyway, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm more impressed by the fact that he's not physically touching any pedals on the track and he's able to do it. But I guess that's just his little ghostly powers accumulating for it. I'm glad they added King Boo into this game. I'm not going to lie because I thought they were going to cut him. They cut him originally. But when we saw the screenshots for Deluxe, because uh, King Boo was not in Mario Kart 8. He, he was not in it. He's he they added him into the uh, in a deluxe. So he, he just wasn't in the game before and they decided to add him. I don't know if he was cut earlier on from development, but eh, I don't know. Whatever. That's I, I don't I don't know everything. People think I know things, but I don't. Dude, I thought you knew things. Come on. I, I, I'm sorry. Dude, Cynic has been having a great day, too. I think I've seen him get first several times. He might be He's 146 that. points right now, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. Kunio's at 171. Yeah. Takamarth, 136. I'll get an update on the scores pretty soon. Um, actually, I could do it right now. Want to know why? Because everyone is waiting for their next race. Uh, as far as capture cards, Black Bomba, I use a Magewell quad, which you probably don't need. Uh, I would recommend something called... It's Razor, like, like the... A gaming brand razor r-a-z-e-r -E uh rip i believe it's called rip jaw i think is a pretty good capture card i don't have it but i've heard nothing but good things mm, i've actually never heard of that as a capture device either i've been using elgato for years at this point the thing so. about i've had an elgato one crapped out of me and then i've tried using someone else's at one point for something and for what I use for Smash, most people don't really need because you don't have to worry about like tournament stuff. If you adjust the source within OBS, it'll basically freeze the game that's on the screen. Um, it has to like reset. Awesome. 
Yeah, right? Uh, but I don't have that issue with my Madewell card, and I don't have it <clears throat> that issue with my mm -hmm. X-Capture card, which I would recommend an X-Capture. They're just kind of dummy expensive and really hard to find now. And they're from mm -hmm. Japan, so if you're looking for support or, or anything like that, you won't get it there. Yeah. So something to think about. Otherwise, I would recommend that thing 10 times out of 10 because it's a really good card. I remember my first ever capture card, man, when I first started doing YouTube back when I was in high school. I used a Dazzle. A Dazzle? Wow. Yeah, you remember that? Dazzles anymore, yeah. I still have it. It's in my room Amazing. somewhere. The Dazzle was, for those, for you youngins, was not even an HD, uh, it was not even an HD capture card. It was just, it was a little thing that had a video port, uh, left, left audio, right audio, and an S video port, and that was it. You needed mad splitters to be able to record with that thing, like mad audio <laughs> and video splitters to be able to do something with it. And then, obviously, it was not an HD capture card. Couldn't record HD games, so eventually I got an HD PVR, and, and that thing was all right. And, and, like, I'm not going to lie, definitely better quality cards, definitely worse, but, like, it had, like, a button on the top that you could hit to start recording, which was pretty cool, but that thing just one day, no reason, just pfft, crapped out on me way too early. Don't know why. I took good care of it. It was also too bulky as well like it was like honestly it was a capture card that was sizably bigger than my hand which that's, is dude that's crazy not, yeah i have to think about how like far technology has come in a short time because yeah in the spectrum of things that's not that long ago but i guess it's long enough to where things have gotten smaller more compact and way more effective mm -hmm. like i right now like for my capture card i use the uh i have the hd i have the hd 60 pro I think for Elgato, that's yeah. the one that you put yep. directly onto your mm -hmm. motherboard, mm -hmm. which is pretty sick. And then for non-HD games, because that one doesn't have that kind of port, I still have my old Elgato, just the uh, just the classic one, old which Elgato. is uh, pretty hype, man. Because they don't really make very many capture cards for non-HD games anymore, because there are like just so many different ways to record now. What with splitters and HDMI, HDMI splitters and stuff and whatnot. Like even for my capture, like when I used to go to the uh, digital press a little while, I have this. Uh, I have two HD TV cables. I have one for GameCube and 64 and SNES and another for Wii. I haven't used those to capture yet. I'm looking forward to being able to record stuff with yeah. those. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, we are still here on Rainbow Road. One of my, well, one of my least favorite tracks. I mean, not even just because I, 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 I'm not it's even going to say it. I've said it a million times. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Ugly track. <laughs> it's ugly. Who cares? It is ugly. I think it's honestly relatively boring, but it's Definitely. all right because we're pretty much done with it already. We got Kunio finishing in second place in this race. He's got a red guy in front of him. It is a Waluigi. I can't tell if it's a Waluigi. It is not a Waluigi on a Wiggler, so I know that for a fact, which is <laughs> a, be... I, I order that every time I go to McDonald's. Am so like, yo, can I get a Waluigi on a Wiggler? It's Cynic. Real quick. It's Cynic again. Yeah, Cynic's on fire, and there's Knight coming in third. And that's the trend you'll see with a lot of the team races where you'll see uh, the team under members finish things. Ah, excuse me. Tongue twister for some reason. Team members finishing in packs because your items don't affect each other as much as, you know, like they do the other team. The item physics are, are different in team mode. And that's part of what makes, like, uh, the scores from it not feel like as much, maybe, because it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like grading with a curve or something. It's just like there, there's an outside influence on it. But, you know, it's still nice, yeah, it's still it's nice to do like well certain in Certain items the races, track you, others you know? don't. I think green shells track whoever's nearest nearest them. I don't. Th I don't think they care about teams. They're, they're they're neutral. They're like Ireland in World War Two. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot like. Uh... And that has nothing to do with the fact that the shell is green. By the way, I'm not. I'm not. There's nothing to do with like you know green being associated with Irish culture Bro, or whatever. I'm it's just, it's just because and... like. Yeah, I'm I'm telling Ireland on you. Yeah. Any I any <laughs> Irelands in chat? Anyways. Any Irish in the chat? <laughs> nah. Unfortunately, instead we got a. Uh, Instead, we got Cafe Cold Brew, hailing from what I assume is uh, the proud city of Weeaboo, Japan. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's I'm, I'm saying that because he's got a, he's got a waifu as his uh, little camera here. And, and, and this girl has got to upgrade her specs. I, I mean, look at this. Well, I think, she, uh, she's still using Windows XP. She to somehow, stream. How is she even doing that? She lives in the year like 20XX, where it's also the future, but the aesthetic looks like it's from decades ago. It's like a totally just different. Where's I don't, Mega I don't know. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Where's Mega Man? The Mega Poo just hit the fan. It's 2000X, and Wiley's escaped. And oh, I'm commentating, aren't I? 
Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. I, I, I kind of <laughs> got lost in the sauce. That's all right. <laughs> I kind of got, I kinda got lost in the sauce for a second there. Shout-outs to Brennel Floss. Anyway, we got Water Park. This is, I like this track, personally. Water Park, I'm kind of a fan of. It's got some... It's got some pretty long. It's got some pretty long empty sections, but it's 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 pretty short in its stature, which is I think normal for like a mushroom cup track. You know what I mean? It's like the first. It's like yeah. the first. Uh, it's the first cup in the game. You know, it's supposed to be like the simplest of tracks, and then you get to like you know the special cup, which has more of the harder ones. That's where you get your Bowser's castles and your your rainbow your rainbow roads and whatnot. I'm pretty sure they actually do scale by difficulty. The further you go on with them, I think Mario Kart has just notoriously done that for years. Ooh, is Coolio oh, is Coolio just sniping the player behind him with the red shell? I was watching Blake fall. I was, I was watching Blake fall off of Music Park. Um, but everyone here is lap three. Uh, you'll notice Cunio's on the screen twice. That's because we only have uh, three streamers. I gotta, I gotta do some overhauling to the overlays. I did not when I first started this. I didn't even think about what it'd look like in three months. Um, but I'm glad I get to think about that now. So, all right, yeah, there we go. Kunio coming in second. Uh, rough finish for Kugi, all, looking all wide-eyed down there. And there's Cynic once again, first place above teammate Kunio. Anju holding it tight for the blue. Um, I do think that red might outweigh blue in this stream, which does affect the results because of things like the way the items hit and stuff. But it still doesn't matter. The way we take uh, the scores or the way Glenn does it is uh, – they they do the average scores basically so it'll take like however many teammates or whatever the total team score is divided by the amount of teammates and mm -hmm. it works out better than it does total in the way of getting outnumbered but you know it's definitely not perfect uh, especially when you get people to join late and yada 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 but that's what we're doing yeah. that that's the this story is why right we now. say that teams is you know it. relatively flawed format yeah you know in the, the way in the first place but we say this for a reason it's yeah, because I like just, you know, you know just want everyone yeah. to know, you know, just, 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 just so you know. know. Uh, but gotta let them know one time. Yeah, and it's uh, twenty. Yeah, because we're up to twenty six racers, and we started with like twenty one. But this is the current score. Um, it still looks pretty one sided. Obviously, there's there's four more uh, racers on the one side. I don't know who joined late, who joined on time. So it's a little bit tough to tell. But Kugi's still having a good day for Blue, despite uh, being outnumbered by Red. So that that's a good takeaway for him. But speaking of red, here's Cunio getting it going. I'm going to see who else is racing against Cunio. He's going to use the shortcut because he's got the mushroom. Yes, he does, and executes it flawlessly. Actually landing right in the middle of the track, making sure he didn't use the mushroom too early. A lot of players, not going to lie, myself included, have a tendency to use the mushroom too early at that turnaround. Uh, and not that turnaround, at that shortcut right there. And yep. then they just wind up... Uh, boosting a little bit too far either off the track or into the wall which is no good you gotta hesitate a little bit or not hesitate i mean you gotta do it a little bit earlier which is the opposite of hesitation <laughs> but you know what i'm trying you, you know what i'm trying what's to the say. difference it, yeah. you gotta sh shut up you gotta do it a little bit <laughs> sorry that was rude i didn't mean to tell him to shut up but i did it was impulsive i'm, I'm sorry offended. mom I'm but kidding. anyway you gotta you gotta do the opposite of hesitate and do it a little bit earlier right right here he's gonna do it again Pops it up a little bit there and lands right in the middle of the track. Easy peasy. Able to get that, uh, I, I almost said oh, confirm. Dude, able to get sniping. that, uh, able to get that, uh, oh my God, just twice. nice and tidy. He's getting a lot of mushrooms, man. Dude, Kugi got mileage out of that boomerang. He knocked Cynic uh, off the trail twice, once when he was in the rough, but... Uh, Cynic's got like those like, uh, they look like they're, they're the red sunglasses. They almost look a little bit villainous in nature. But they, but they also look stylish. Kind of remind you mm. of like the Squirtle glasses a little bit. The, 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 <laughs> the Squirtle glasses, right, classic. Here. Yeah, they're not red, but like if they were. Anyways, so Kugi making the big moves, trying to chase down. I'm not sure who's ahead of him. I'm not, I, Some Roy player yeah, in I'm front of sure him. Yeah, I'm not sure who's playing Roy. Um, could be Anju. Oh my god, Dude. he went over the pipe with that jump. Did yeah, you that see was that? hype. I got to start taking my guesses. I knew that was Anju too. Anyways, uh, okay, Red Shell goes away. No real threat. I do think Kugi will probably end up finishing in second, but we'll see. I don't know. Cynic is, oh my god, Rockman! What, <laughs> what a madman. Second place. Where'd he come from? I don't know. Oh, da -na 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 -na. I don't know where he came from, but he came from. That was hype right at the end. Uh, so as Stole I was so confident, from Kugi. yeah, I thought Kugi was confidently going to get second. There comes uh, so did Kugi, team. probably. Wow, dude, look at the avatar. Even looks like Mega Man a little bit. All right, <laughs> cool, bro. I like it. Definitely hitting. Better hit the avatar state. 
Yeah, dude. Alrighty. So, here we are. We're nearing the end, I think everyone's got about... I think I saw people on, like, their 19th race, 18th race, so oh. we're, we're towards the, the latter bit, but still plenty more to go, uh, you know, plenty more action left because the scores fluctuate dramatically, especially towards the end, and there are some entrants in late, so we'll, we'll see how that plays, but... Don't, don't, don't look in her eyes, you might fall in love. It's true. She is, she is so beautiful. I, uh, dude, it's like she's a girl and she plays video games. I just, I just feel like she's meant for me, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I'm, I'm 20, sorry. 20th race. I, I couldn't resist the, <laughs> the simpery. 20th and 21st. 20, uh, yeah. Definitely. I'm definitely, yeah, this is a 20th the, the races, and 21st yeah, respectively the, the from left to right. I'm definitely say. simping for cold brew. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely a pro cold brew simp. Yeah, I mean he's good. He's he good at the game good. too. He is, I mean, yeah, he's just, ooh, never mind he's, falling down to six here. Ooh, seventh, unfortunately. He's good for him. in general. He's he's good people. Um, he is he's a content creator too. Um, you see on the bottom of his overlay to his last name files. I think his YouTube channel is Blake Last Name or something like that. He actually has some pretty clever stuff. So if you ever end up checking out his stream, be sure to ask him about his YouTube. Uh, and I do recommend checking out his stream. I'll actually get the, the URL up there now. So uh, mm -hmm. you guys can go ahead and do your own research on that. And I recommend you do because he's got some good videos. And I think he's working on some more. Uh, meanwhile, Kunio on the left, just ahead of Cold Brew. And trying to chase down his teammate, Adam, also hailing from Cart Clash, uh, Cart Clash. And pretty good as far as I know. They, it's really good that they never added one more word with a K to their name. Oh, God. Yeah, that wouldn't be good, would it? That would not. I, I'm not good. But they didn't do it. They, they were smart yeah, enough they to were, they not were do good. it. But, I mean, a lot of them also play Boo, and he kind of looks like a white sheet. Hey. So yeah. I don't... Hey, man, I'm just saying. <laughs> gotta, gotta be... It's just marketing, dude. Yeah. They gotta be careful. Yeah, they do. Oh, they do have to be careful. That, that was that. that was tacky. That, that, <laughs> that was that was a really tacky joke. I am, oh man, I'm going to hell. Um, all right, so this looks kind of um, you know we got some boo on boo action here. Um, meanwhile, if we look to the other lobby, is Koogie Coogs doing his thing in the first place? Mount Wario, um, and it looks like he is. All right, he's not super far ahead, but he does have Anju behind him, so no real threat of any big items outside of maybe a blue shell. Uh, and also the red team is going to have to be the one to pull the trigger on that for it to really do anything. And he's making it happen. And watching DK dab over the, the speed bumps is so epic. Mm. Yeah, one of the only, uh, not even one of the only uh, Nintendo games where you see a Mario or a Nintendo character dab. Uh, you know, we were talking about, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what was that game before? Uh, yeah. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Rock I remember Man? that cutscene no. where Luigi dabs. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like Nintendo is kind of hip for that stuff. That they are. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Rockman did take that other race, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. Adam coming in second. Uh, so more wins for red, but this is a win for blue. And uh, coming ahead of Cynic and Takamarth, fighting off those people. I'm uh, going to go ahead and skip the song because it's just a lot of piano in my ear. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, wow. I was wondering one. what Perfect. you were going to do about that. I, I can't, man. It's it's really hard to listen to that sometimes. All right, Rainbow Road, we, could, we can keep that on. And All right. <clears throat> yeah, they advancing must... further on into the infinity and beyond. Um, I don't know and where. Beyond. I think everyone's going to be split up at this point. If, if, if what I'm seeing is correct. Do you remember Disney Extreme Skate Adventure? Vaguely, vaguely. That was a Tony Hawk styled uh, skateboard, uh, free, free uh, open world skateboarder game mm -hmm. with Disney characters. Oh my god, dude! That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it was a really good game. Yeah, I just I was just got reminded of it all of a sudden because I was looking at Mario Kart and then I said Infinity and you said and Beyond, so obviously I was thinking yeah, about Buzz Lightyear. I, I, yeah, no, so no, it just made else? me it just reminded me of that game, which was just so sick. Like you could skate around like Andy's, uh, you could skate, and it had like you know hip '90s music in it as well. You know, I'm pretty sure it's got like Bowling for Soup tracks in there. What else? Uh, what else? Uh, Freaking maybe Instinct, I think. What, what else was a big one? Oh, Smash Mouth. It's got some Smash Mouth tracks oh in there God. as well. Yeah, like it, The game is so 90s. Prime, it kind of hurts. Very, very prime Shrek era. of like, Well, actually, that was pre-Shrek. 
I guess, right? Yeah, well, it's direct. I mean, it was 2001. It was basically still the 90s. Yeah. The, like it was the it was the real end of the 90s. Basically, is when Shrek rolled around, which was 2001. Yes, but uh, no, nah, nah, I think I think even that game was pre. Actually, no, it wasn't pre Shrek because it was for the GameCube. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't remember when that game came out, but it had a lot of those tracks. It was incredibly early 2000s. That's all you need to know. And uh, which yeah, is Shrek? Here we go that, on Yoshi. Shrek, Wait, what's Shrek up? Time. That's, that's, that's Shrek time. That's Shrek era. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, Shrek debuted in 2001, so. You guys ever watched? Classic. You ever watched a Shrek dog race? Like, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll that'll when we when we show your video later, we're also gonna show the Shrek dog race. So you guys will have okay. that to look forward to. It's probably my favorite video on the internet. I Pretty watched sure Shrek too recently. It's a little different than that, but but it's still Shrek. Anyway, right. <laughs> All right, Kooky struggling a little bit. Cold brew. Um. Oh, up mid, close and personal with Rockman. Yeah, with Rockman, and that's Knight right ahead. So that's... Oh, wait, no, that's Adam right ahead. Yeah, looks like we got Adam right ahead here and Cold Brew. Wow, that Wild Luigi back. is very far ahead. I'm guessing that might be Cynic again because Cynic has just been so freaking consistent and taking the wins when he can, and he is a red team. So I do believe that is who won, but what we're going to check... Oh, no, it was it's, that's Jinja, I think. Uh, it's a little bit... Yeah, there's Jinja, who entered late, apparently. Jinja's more Kart Clash. Shout out to Kart Clash. Once again, I'm just going to keep saying their name a lot because you guys should know who they are in case you don't. Um, anyways. Recognize. So, yeah, here we go with the uh, Bullet Bill. Yeah, that sucks. Nice. Unfortunate for yeah. Kugi. Ooh, a Scott. very low placement by his standards they're, right they're, there, but still the point disparity to him compared to everybody else in that lobby. Still about a solid race ahead, so... Yeah, he's, he's sitting kind of pretty at the moment, and it's looking like a possibility of Sunshine Airport. Uh, it won't really know. Got one random in there. Okay, there's... Campbell's some. Chicken Noodle Possibilities. <laughs> oh, I just realized Cunio's racing right now. We can, we can oh. totally be watching that. Woo! Uh, All you fun friends, if you're just tuning in, we're here, we're here at the Team Dose Circuit. Near and relatively near in the end, we're like at 820. I think a lot of these guys are in like their uh, in their 20s in terms yeah, of races well, and probably their age as well. For most of them, yeah, Col Colbert is on 23rd, so he this is his second to last race, and I think everyone else is pretty much in the same range except for the people who just started, obviously, which is no one who's streaming um, at the moment. So our coverage is going to end basically as soon as these guys finish, so pretty soon. Uh, and then okay, well. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't no. mean to. Uh, I, I didn't mean to cut you off again. I, I'm, I'm sincerely, sincerely apologized. <laughs> that okay. is Sin City, seriously. Hey, it's okay. That's okay. It's well, okay. I, I'm it's sorry. Okay. I just had a random thought in in my head, and that is that I'm looking at the track they're on right now because I like to think about. I like to give my thoughts on like the tracks, you know, whichever one they're on. For, you know, when I'm talking about the races mm -hmm. and whatnot. If I like the track, why other people like it, why others don't, or whatever. But I mean, is this a particular like location? in any Animal Crossing game? I, I don't think so, right? I don't, so no, like, no. To, like, to talk about Nintendo be. card, they could just pretty much do stuff like this. They could do anything. They could literally yeah, make you know? any race look like anything they want. Um, mm -hmm. Dude, Nintendo... I think I think Nintendo Racers is, might be reality. You never know. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could just, like, come up with, like, areas like this. Like, this is, like, an Animal Crossing track. It gives you the gist of that game. And then you have, like, you know, Hyrule Circuit in this game. That's not any... Uh, that track is not from any particular Zelda game or anything like that. It's just like sort of a showcase of, you know, what the series is pretty much all about. And I don't see why they can't do that with like a lot of the other ones. Like, dude, oh my God. Imagine like a, tr imagine like a Metroid track. Yeah, that's, How that was the first one I, th I thought of like basically racing around uh, Planet Zeebs. Anyways, uh, uh, yo, Bryce with the big first place for blue. Uh, with kind of the carry, too. I mean, I know that was an empty lobby. That was basically him versus Cunio, but that's still good to get that win. Um, let's see what we got going on. Uh, we'll get some cold brew on the screen because getting towards the end of his run, uh, he is on lap three right now and does have a little bit of room to get, find himself uh, in a better position than seventh, but a lot of those other guys ahead of him are actually kind of getting close to finish at this point, so he's going to have to sweat. Uh, meanwhile, Kugi getting hit. 
Uh, okay, the hit stun saving him, but getting hit and surviving, uh, no real threat to, behind him. He still has a heck of a lead. I think that's probably Knight behind him, uh, the yeah. on the red team. Yeah, he's the only person I ever see plays the purple. Yeah, anchor. same. Um, also on the red team, so Knight looking like he's probably going to get second. I don't know who's using Isabel, but yeah, so it's Jinja coming in first, Rockman second, and Zodiac in third in Cold Brews Race. Meanwhile, that was in fact Knight. On Elu. Oh my god, Elu entered and he just entered. Trying to add some <laughs> what a, to the What blue. a legend just entering the circuit at 8.30. Wow. <laughs> Elu is here. Uh, I don't know. I think that's... I don't even... I, I think like the, the points are just, just for fun. Uh, it doesn't even matter. I think... The, the, no, I know. I'm the, just saying. No, I know. I'm, I'm kind of convincing myself, I think. <laughs> because I was like... Uh, <laughs> the thing is, is, like the points... I, I want them to matter a little bit. I want the structure to be there, but I also just enjoy having a day where people are consistently getting races against each other that isn't super mm -hmm. try hard necessarily, but you're getting that solid practice in. So I can appreciate the yep. Glen circuit on that level. Uh, and that's a. Same. Uh, uh, for a second, I thought that race was over. Consistently having races, consistently having fun. It's another one of just the biggest things out here for sure, man, you know, with all these players. I mean, the thing with the legitimacy of, you know, competition of the Team Doe circuit, I mean, people take it seriously, just not as much as yeah, the Glintendo circuit. We already talked about before. The Glintendo circuit is where uh, the Glintendo circuit is true, where true men is where men become true men, where women become true women. It's just where people become true people over there. Like that's that's no holds barred, you know, competition free for all, everybody for himself. Like I'm going to throw this red shell right at your face kind of thing this is where we're out here it's supposed to be like a team's oriented play where most people take it seriously others don't the cpus don't <laughs> that's for sure you know they i'm pretty sure like i don't understand why they would make a team format in mario kart and have the cpus like just not care you know, but it's you know that's a discussion i do wonder though um and i might have to talk to Glenn on this i think that there might be a way to make this a little bit more like exciting uh, in terms of like how the teams are structured, but I also don't want to be the one responsible for the Smash GG. But there's more points for red team. Uh, that's Neji and Kunio coming first and second. And I don't know if that was his last race, but I do know that this is both of these guys' last race. So we are in fact uh, nearing the finish. And this is uh, let's see. I don't know who's in whose thingy, but yeah, they're both on last race, and it's blue team. So we'll see if Cold Brew could get some points in for the blue team a little bit last minute. Meanwhile, Kookie Koog looks like a shoe in to win this because he's been winning these races and he just has uh, what I could only imagine is Anju right behind, etc. Oh, wait, no, I think that might be. No, yeah, there's Cynic. a red person right behind yeah, him. Two red people right behind him. Two red people in front of him. Oh, my God. He got ran over. Uh, Rockman and Cynic both making the big pass. Someone else on blue passed as well, I think, unless my eyes deceive me and they might oh. where they got hit. Mario Kart, dude, the only game where you can literally run people over and still keep that E rating. <laughs> yeah, well, you just get flattened in, like, a pancake, which I guess is... Like Pikachu. Pretty... Yeah, you're not turning into a bloody, disgusting mess. Like, imagine if it worked, like, Mortal Kombat Fatalities, where you get run over, and you're, like, getting the zoom-ins of, like, skulls fracturing and, like, your dude, entire oh. structural system just being destroyed. X-rays were sick. No, those are some of my favorite things about Mortal Kombat. How? Or like the modern Mortal Kombat games. The X-ray moves. Oh, how very extra. Those... <laughs> I know, but they're so dope. I mean, and they're unrealistic too. Like they'll have ones where like your skull will just be imploding, and then like oh, they just get up. <laughs> they just so get funny, up. Man. I love Mortal Kombat, man. I really, I really do. If that was in Smash, that 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 they'd would, have to go would... the Sub Zero approach because they already have ice mechanics, and he doesn't necessarily like meme anyone necessarily. Well, what do you mean like, about Sub-Zero? Like, he would be the character for Smash if you were here. Oh, you think so? I do think so, because he just freezes people. So you don't have to worry about, like, anyone getting split in half by, like, a spear with, like, Scorpion. But, all right, Kugi. Oh, that I was... agree. I, I think that, I agree I, I with that. He's just as thing. iconic as Scorpion. It would either be him or... Real talk, they would probably be in the same DLC spot, and they'd probably be Echo Fighters. Probably. I wonder how they maybe they just put fire versus ice moves or something. Just like different special moves. Yeah, because that, that much was what they do. Because the like, how are you not gonna put Scorpion in the game, man? If you're gonna go with a Mortal Kombat rep. Yo. But then again, Sub is also really close. But that's a discussion. You Dude, know, Red I'm, I'm, just... I'm discussing this with myself right now. I apologize. <laughs> Red just wiped up in all three of those last races. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that Red is probably gonna win. Because uh, some of the blue yeah. team that has that has entered is basically um, they entered late. So, I don't know. They have 24 minutes to finish, at least at this point. 
and I'm not optimistic for that because uh, some of them I think were only like four races in. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Cunio has another. Oh, race. oh, 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 they both fled. Yeah, like, gotta go. Did you see that? I sure did. I'm gonna I'm go. My people need me. Gotta go. Uh, yeah, because a lot of people entered late um, today, and that, that's ah, a, that, that was a good thing about like the team circuit that I was saying is at least you still get races against people who you know are good. I can't believe the Glintendo circuit. Like, if you had told me it'd be attracting like top level Mario Kart talent, I would have been like, probably not. But uh, it is. There's a lot of really good racers here. A lot of racers that are actually known within the larger Mario Kart scene, which is very exciting. And they enter these, and I think they do it for fun because it's not just like sweat your PP off, super try hard. Uh, you know, you better come and bring it. You actually just get some races. You have a shitty race here and there, no big deal. But if you have a really good race, awesome. Then you get to just like shit talk, and it works. Mm -hmm. And here we go. This is a beautiful is, thing. Th this is the final race for that we're gonna have, and the final race for Cunio. So. Um, I will say, if, if you want to support Cunio, and I, and I really hope you do, because he's one of the uh, few streamers that make this Mario Kart tournament stream a reality, because we do need the point of views, and he consistently now gives us one. So go ahead and check him out on Twitch, his URL is right on the screen. While you do that, I'm going to find the scores, and then we're going to talk about him a little bit, and then we're going to talk about Natunis' video. Uh, that he put out, and I'm going to show you uh, Shrek dog racing because I think that everyone should see that. And it, oh, it's God. really good. Um, <laughs> it's, worth, it, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> All right, it. It's worth it. I mean, if Chris is saying it's worth it, I believe it. It'll put a Here we go. Advancing with this race, this is only red people in this race. There are actually no blue people in this race. Those are all CPUs, as you can probably tell by them all being that far back. Yeah. Not gonna lie. So basically, it's just Cunio racing against four of his teammates right here in Knights. Uh, I believe that I, I believe that's Glenn. I think that's Glenn in this lobby. I think it is because uh, the DK with... who, uh, not the DK, uh, whoever that. I can't tell. It's that third person that's in between Glenn and Knights, but I can't tell because the circles are in the foreground. Um, therefore, ahead. Yeah, but it took them like we're gonna find out in a minute because one of those CPUs sinning. decided to toss a blue shell. Just to screw yeah, over the only is. human players in here, so we're gonna get a little closer here. How's Glenn? Cunio advances a little further. <laughs> yes, that is Glenn Tendo right there, who uh, Cunio will be passing Knight up ahead in second place wow, as he just gets passed him. and squished. What a jerk. By uh, Cunio right there. No, no, dude, it's the last yeah, race. I know we no talked about this. These and guys are cynic. That's was, the last yeah, one. Yeah, dude, he has the squirtle glasses, definitely. They're, they look like triangles. Okay, I see what you're talking about now. Yeah, although they might not be, but it looks like it from what I can see. Anyways. Um, yeah, we got like a, like a kind of a cluster of red players, all of which are good, that are going to be stepping on each other regardless, including Cynic, Cunio, Glenn, and Knight. Um, they're just probably going to use their items on. Like, I wouldn't be surprised to see this red shell be used like a green shell right now, and we'll see if it actually hits Cynic, but uh, I got to have good aim for that. Okay, now just throws it back. And why not? You're about to finish. All your team behind you, yeah, mm. that's Cynic, Cunio, Knight, Glenn, uh, Isabel, just because... And that's going to do it for us. So let me go ahead and check this, uh, the scores. We already know that basically red team basically wrecked the blue team. And part of that has to do with, with the total number of entrants. Just because the way that the... Oh, wow. Heartless. Look at that. 273. Whoa. Where did you come from? I'm not sure. We didn't really get to see many of him, like many of his races at all. That's crazy. But... It looks like he just gets over Kugi. Kugi is done, by the way. I don't know if Heartless is. Oh. I'm going to guess that he is. Um, oh, but yeah, wow. that's, that's a big one. Meanwhile, a uh, pretty big point difference between two and three. I'm not surprised to see a red play, uh, you know, red team player coming in first because they did have the advantage in terms of like the more human racers kind of deal. And Okay, yeah, he's not even done yet. Heartless is actually in the chat. Rockman lives oh. on. Oh, dude, is Heartless Rockman? Is that super hype? Holy crap. That's so cool. Dude, no way. Let's go. I had no idea. So apparently we have been watching Heartless, and that now I'm not surprised at all. And that's definitely what happened because I don't see Rockman. That's confusing. Why does it, why does it do that? Anyways, shout out Rockman. Let's go. Um, all right, so that's Cunio. Or, yeah, where are we at? Uh, Cunio and Adam tied for third. Anju fifth. Eo sixth. And this is currently, by the way. Uh, a lot of these guys are still racing, and we have a lot of late entrants. So we'll see. I know Zodiac also entered late. So this is probably going to change a lot. And if you guys want to know where to find the actual end results, I'm going to have to go ahead and forward you to this graphic that tells you to check out the uh, Super Glintendo Twitter and the Master Hand Gaming Twitter. Um, those results usually go up sometime right after the, the event happens, so you'll be able to see everything 
um, that happen afterward. Uh, you'll see the people's Twitter's tag, so you kind of get to know people outside of just like the game's interface. You'll get to see them in Twitter interface. And before we finish everything, since I can't really give you all that information yet, before I let Nintunist uh, basically give us the plug for, for his uh, new video, I'm going to go ahead and show you Shrek Dog Race because I, I think this is important for all of you. So, if you've never seen this? No. <laughs> Why? Oh, he's speeding. <laughs> oh, he went through the tunnel. Oh, my God. Dude, he's killing it. That's adorable. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's faster than Donkey. Look how fast he's going. He's really good at this. Oh, you got them. You got them, Donkey. Oh, that guy doing oh, the oh my God, Bob. And, that was the quickest Bob and Weave I've ever seen in my life from really any good creature. Lateral, yeah, really good lateral steps. So I just thought that maybe you guys would appreciate that as much as I did. Anyways. That that was important. Yeah, look I, at, look at him go. Like if you didn't do that, then everything would have fallen apart. Yeah, look at him go. I'm glad the chat appreciates it. So anyways, look in Tunis, I want, you to, I want you to... Uh, should, 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 we, should, we, should we click on the video? Should we check it out? It, it, you, you, it's like 17 minutes That's long. Okay. We're not it's watching okay. the whole yeah, thing. Let's on for a second. <laughs> So, oh, we're popping in for a second yeah, here? So, okay. Yeah, so go, go ahead, man. Go ahead. And talk about the video. Oh, oh, okay. I'll just pull the script up and I'll just recite <laughs> yeah, just, everything just I said. Just read us the video live. <laughs> just recite everything I said in the video right here. All right. Well, guys, uh, there's a long time ago where I was the content creator. I took a break from it for a really long time, but now I'm getting back into it. Rebranding a little bit, doing a lot of different things that, like I used to do. I used to be... Uh, <clears throat> Mostly known for like my top 10 smash list, which I've sort of refrained on making. I haven't made one of those in a really long time. I might go back to that. But point is, I'm getting back into content creation. Just uploaded a brand new video today. It is the obligatory Paper Mario, the Origami King discussion video because everybody and their grandmother's pet rock is uploading one of these videos. And I just saw a lot of people on Twitter.com and whatnot just getting a little mad and 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 whatnot just saying like oh origami king is going to be bad because it's not thousand year door basically and i basically just wanted to make a video you can also put slash and tunis for yeah, that. So yeah there you go there, that, that, you know that, that's what works and i saw a lot of people just saying that the you know origami king the new paper mario game was going to be bad because like oh it's not thousand year door and i just thought that wasn't really fair I, I thought that wasn't really a fair thing to say so basically in that video i discussed all things about paper mario origami king the you know paper mario is a franchise currently what its fan base is really all about and basically just all sorts of things like if you miss the old paper mario games and oh that was actually kind of trippy because that's actually literally what i say at that exact part of the video yeah. um yeah wow um if you miss the yes. old paper mario games i talk about that a little bit and how like we could relate to the old games basically in this video it's a very it's a big gamer discussion with a couple of jokes here and there just to keep it lighthearted, keep the yucks going on. I give my thoughts on Sticker Star, Color Splash, Thousand Year Door, the whole shebang. And I've been actually planning on making a lot more opinionated opinionated videos and whatnot about video games like after this video i'm probably gonna list the paper mario games and just like i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna continue to do top 10 and top 5 lists but i'm just gonna branch out of smash a little bit to do them like yeah i'll still do the smash ones probably at some point because people really liked those videos but i'm probably also gonna do just top 10 for other things like maybe the top 5 mario and luigi games the top 5 paper mario games that kind of stuff I, I've been meaning to just really expand what I can do as a content creator as of late. I got years of experience doing it, and I think I'm can. I think i finally ready to get back into the swing of things. And if that ain't enough for you, I also have a brand new series that I promote at the end of that Paper Mario video. It's called Smash Excellence with Nintunist. I, uh, yeah, you got Chris pulling it up right here. I got the graphic made for it and everything. It's uh, basically sort of an elegant showcase of a Smash character or something like that, and then it just sort of devolves into general Smash complaining culture. You guys will see when I release that video, which should be really soon because I have pretty much almost all the assets for that video necessary. Literally the only thing I need is the thumbnail for that video, which I'm actually commissioning a buddy of mine to make because uh, I want like sort of a specific design for it. Plus I hate making thumbnails. It's my least favorite part of making videos. I'm not going to lie, but yeah. So if you guys want, I would definitely recommend checking that video out. I've gotten a lot of really good feedback on it so far, and I would appreciate any feedback, whether it's positive or negative, if you're interested in that video. But I, re I personally say, if you're at all interested in Paper Mario, I definitely recommend checking out that video. And if you don't, you don't. It's totally fine. But if you want to, if you love Nintunist, if, if you want to be, if you if you want to show him your love, if you and if you're a simp for Nintunist, if you're a simp-tunist, 
definitely check out that video. I would definitely recommend that. But uh, yeah, that, thank you. Uh, that's that's pretty much my plug for that one. I got more videos on the way that I have planned out, but that was this one was sort of the big one I was planning for a little while. I mean, Smash Excellence is the one I've been planning for a little while, but this one I just really wanted to make because there was a new Paper Mario game announced and a lot of people were just had all these different thoughts on it and everything. People were saying that the game is bad before it's even out. And basically my main takeaway from that video is, well, you'll, you'll find out once you watch it, but yeah, that's uh, that's my very Good long, deal, strenuous plug for you guys right there. Thank you so much, Chris, for uh, helping me out with that and even interacting with me for it by going to the end of the video when nah, I was talking good, about man. my new series, the whole shebang. Uh, this guy, like, that's just the least of what this man does for our little scene, for our Tri-State Smash scene and our Tri-State Mario Kart scene, or pretty much our Tri-State scene of just gamers as a whole. If you guys are not following Masterhand Gaming already, I, I, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not even saying this just to promote. I don't know what you're doing. I seriously don't <laughs> I, know what I, you're doing. I, I, like, I, literally, what the hell are you doing? This guy, he puts on the best Smash, he streams the best Smash tournaments. He streams the Mario Kart locals. We're branching out to other games such as Mario Maker relatively soon. Yep. We've been talking about that for quite some time here, trying to build these Excited bridges in between communities. If you're not following Chris, Master Hand Gaming is the stream you're looking at right now. Definitely follow. And if you want to be a super homie, go ahead and hit that sub button. Yeah, man, I appreciate it because uh, we do these Mario Kart circuits. Yeah, obviously every single Tuesday's teams, and then every single Sunday we have free for alls, which is uh, where the real action's at. If if I may, uh, things get a little spicy there. We got a lot of really good players, and uh, you know, you already brought it up, but the Sizz was initially a Smash channel, and still is very much. Uh, a channel with a lot of Smash, so we have that every single Thursday. Be sure to check us out. Uh, you could go ahead and see what that looks like if you haven't already on our YouTube. Uh, really easy to find. Uh, the, the, the URL is right on the screen there. Um, Mo <laughs> Melody Motorway coming out at the exact wrong time. <laughs> Anyways. Melody, Melody Motorway. Anyways, I appreciate that. But yeah, so that's Music gonna part. do it for us. Uh, I appreciate you guys who hung out with, uh, you know, chilled, watched, raced, streamed, whatever you did today. Uh, if you're here, I just appreciate you. Uh, the Tunis, thanks so much, man. Um, I hope you guys all go check out his uh, his videos. Again, URL is very easy. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Nintunis. You know where to follow us. And if you don't, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, you do. Look at the screen. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys a little later on. Uh...